Well, since Noah brought up Liberty University, I guess we should talk about that bullshit, huh? As regular listeners will know, of course, Liberty University is embroiled in a whole lot of scandals involving the response to sexual assault on campus. We talked on the show a little while back about the 12 women who sued the school for policies the plaintiffs claim actually encourage sexual assault. There are at least 10 more women who have publicly claimed they failed to take reports of sexual assault seriously. Well, at the heart of those allegations is a policy called the Liberty Way. That includes bans against consuming alcohol and, in their words, fraternizing with opposite sex. And, of course, sexual assault often happens when consuming alcohol and fraternizing with the opposite sex. So when a student finds herself a victim, she has to decide whether to risk getting kicked out of school for violating the Liberty Way or keep quiet about being raped. And this is not some paranoid hypothetical, by the way. ProPublica just did a story with several case studies of former Liberty students that say they were kicked out of school for being the victims of sexual assault, and they have a lot of evidence to back that up. Hell, as a standard part of the school's sexual assault investigations, they made several victims sign forms acknowledging possibly violations of the Liberty Way, and even the form itself warns that they could face disciplinary actions. So they literally wave a paper under sexual assault victims' faces saying, You sure this is worth getting kicked out of school over? Anyway, not much new to report here. But since we were already talking about them, I figured it was worth emphasizing that their bullshit tax exemption is the least of the wicked shit they're doing. Of course, it's not all bad news this week. The Supreme Court gave us reason to believe that they might not have tossed Roe out altogether this week. On Monday, they heard two challenges to Texas's new abortion law, and it seems like maybe Kavanaugh and Barrett realized that Not letting laws count because the law was cleverly worded could come back to bite them in the ass. I'm talking, of course, about the nonsense bounties the new law places on women who get abortions and the way they're hiding behind that provision to insulate the law from a judicial challenge. As Solicitor General Elizabeth Preliger pointed out, if they allow this bullshit bounty system to stand, quote, no constitutional right is safe, end quote. And that includes the ones that right-wing zealots care about, like the gun one. And look, I get that maybe they won't overturn Roe until that Mississippi law comes up next month. It isn't much of a silver lining to hang on such a dour week. So I have one more up note for you, thanks to astute listener Paul. See, as wrong as we keep getting it here in the States, at least there's hope somewhere in the world. It turns out that just about the time we were using our elections to roll back the tiny shreds of progress from the last one, Queensland, Australia, was making a bit of feminist history. As of today... They have a woman as chief justice of their Supreme Court, premier of the state, governor of the state, police commissioner, and heads of the state's four top universities. So if you live in Virginia and you're looking for somewhere to relocate, it appears that at least somebody wants us. And on that glimmer of hope, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. Eli. 